mega cloud storage review is it safe hey guys welcome back in this video i will be doing a quick review of mega storage so a lot of people are always looking for online cloud storage and with the limitations on free plans it's necessary that you find alternatives to the popular options of onedrive and google drive however a lot of people have concerns about their privacy and whether or not their data would be safe in these third-party cloud storage providers so we're going to do a deep dive into Mega and the experience that I have had while using it. I'll also be showing you guys how to get started with Mega as well. So let's get into it. Now, I've previously used Mega storage and in my personal opinion, I have found it to be pretty secure. It's a really simple European based company. So all of their regulations match with the privacy regulations currently intact and I have found that there were no data breaches, you know, they have multiple different uh, security and privacy authorizations where, you know, they're going to tell you about all of your privacy protection that you're receiving. You guys can see they are under the European Union's general data protection regulation. So it has some of the greatest protection out there. Now, if you want to get started with Mega, all you have to do is head on over to mega.io and then click on sign up to get started with your free cloud storage. Now, you have a bunch of household names that can be you know overwhelming to step away from but using mega or other cloud uh, cloud storage providers can be a great alternative to having to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on storage for no apparent reason because if you have some basic stuff that you need to save for a long period of time then it's fine to use these types of platforms so I'm just going to enter my name and my email address, and then we're just going to click on create account. And once you click on create account, you just need to verify it from your mail over here and click on activate account to be able to activate your account. So now we're just going to log on over here. Now, once you log on, you will be able to see your plan that you want to use so you have multiple different types of plans and i'll be going into the pricing later on but we're going to continue with the free one the free plan allows you to get 20 gigabytes of free storage which is more than any of the popular providers onedrive only has 5 gigabytes and google drive only gives you around 15 gigabytes of storage so you can go on to mega and store upwards of 20 gigabytes of items or files and that is another great reason why I recommend using this platform. So over here, we can see that this is our drive. And on the left side, we have a tool panel. In this, we have cloud drive. We have our recent items, favorites, rubbish bin. Then we also have shared folders, links, as well as filed requests. Now we also have our photo section. Then we also have our chat section and a backup section. So now, to get started with actually storing your data over here, you can simply go on to Drive over here. And then once you go into Drive, you're going to click on Upload. You can upload files from the right side. You have like a simple little tutorial. You can also download their application to make it easier. Now, one thing I like to do is I like to make folders before I get into, you know, uploading my files so what i'm going to do is go into drive click on create folder and then once i click on create folder i can name it whatever i want so let's say this is life and now i have this folder where i can add items that are regarding my personal life now to add items you can go into mega and you know just open up that folder just double click on that folder click on upload on the top right and if you want to do a bulk upload, you can do a bulk upload of an entire folder. And if you want, you can also click on upload file to be able to upload one individual file. So if I just want to upload this image in my life folder, I can do that as well. You can create subfolders within your folders to further categorize your items to make it easier for you to access. And on the top right corner, you're going to find different icons, which are the different displays of how you want your data to be displayed to you. So let's say I want to create a new folder. So I'll just create a new folder called school. And let's say I'm working on my school project in this, but I want this to be shared with my classmates. So how can you do that? Well, 
To be able to share a folder, you're going to click on the folder and on the bottom, you're going to find this toolbar. You have the options to download, share the folder, as well as send to chat, create a sharing link, deleting, and some other options as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the folder and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on share folder and you can add more people. So you can add a person by their email address. And if you want to create a shareable link, you're going to click on share link on the bottom right and you're going to click on I agree and then you're going to create your link. Now you have two types of links, so you can send a decryption link as well so people can decrypt the link. Now I like to just share a link because it's pretty easy and you can choose to remove the link later on if you feel like you no longer want to share this folder. Now, another great thing that you can do with Mega is to categorize the info that you have. So let's say that I have multiple different files and they're all very similar. So let's upload a couple of files so I can better help you guys understand how you can do your categorization. If I upload these files over here, now I have so many different files and I might want to categorize these. So to be able to actually categorize my files, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take any like these three files. These are the same type of images. They're images of the same product. So I might want to label them as plushies because they're images of plushies. So I don't want to create a separate folder for plushies. I just want to be able to easily access them. Now for that, you're going to select the similar items together. Then on the bottom right, you're going to click on these three dots that say more. Once you click on these three dots, you can click on label and choose a particular color. So let's say I want to label them by orange. Now all of these are labeled under orange and whenever I need to find anything with, you know, the plushies, I can just search for orange in my search bar and then I would be able to find it. Obviously I'm not spelling that right, but you get the point. Now you can do this with any type of file or even folders. And let's say you have multiple different types of folders, but let's say all of your finance items are tagged with blue. So that will help you engaging a better idea of all of the finance items present within your drive. Now in this way, you can create favorites as well to make it easier to access simply by clicking on the folder. And then once you click on these three dots over here, you can click on favorite. Now, once you go into your drive and click on favorites, you would be able to find all of the data that might be folders or files, documents, images, whatever you have uploaded and favorited, you would find it over here for easy access. Then below that you have your rubbish bin and you have your shared items. So any folders that have been shared, any folders that have a sharing link and then any folders that you have requested. So you can create file requests as well all would be found at the bottom. Now, if you go onto the left side, you will go into the photo section and you would find all of the photos that have been uploaded within your mega drive or your mega cloud space. And you can search for images, videos, favorited images and favorited albums as well. Next up, you even have a chat and meetings feature available on mega and a backup feature that can help you in backing up your devices directly onto the mega cloud platform. So personally, I have found mega to be pretty useful. And if you want to get started with more storage, you can get one terabyte of transfer and four gigabytes of storage for only four euros and 99 cents. Then you have your pro one version, which is almost 10 euros. Then you have your pro two version, which has eight terabytes of storage, which is only 19 euros. And then you have your pro three version, which is only 29 euros for 16 terabytes of storage. So I do think that it's very fairly priced in comparison to the other platforms available as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to make a better informed decision on choosing Mega as your cloud storage partner. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.